Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another one of my disappointing products video. I haven't done one since December, and you guys know I try to do these every single month. Just because, you know, I love doing monthly favorites videos. They're like my favorite videos to film. And a lot of you guys are always requesting me to include like disappointing products at the end of my favorites videos. But honestly, I have so many favorites that I feel like adding more products would make the video just like even longer. So I like to dedicate all my disappointments to one video. So that is what we are doing today. These are all products that just didn't work for me for one reason or another or that I just don't vibe with. It doesn't mean these suck. I know a lot of people who actually love a lot of these products, but you get me. There was just something about these products that just that did, that didn't sit well with me. So if they're your favorites, don't be upset with me. We're still friends. I still love you. We're friends. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so my first product totally disappointed me because I love this brand so much. By the way, my nails are really, really chipped in this video. Just ignore that. Anyway, this is the Drunk Elephant Bestie Jelly Cleanser. It has cantaloupe, it's supposedly really great for you. But I didn't I didn't like this. There was something about the formula that didn't really sit well on my skin, and I felt that it didn't really clean my skin the way that I wanted it to be cleaned. Um, I don't like like a squeaky clean feeling because I have such dry skin, but there was something about the formula that just wasn't, I didn't love it. But that's not what I really disliked about it. This has the world's worst packaging ever. I like the idea of it, don't get me wrong, because all you have to do is go like this, and it pops open, and then you squeeze out all the product, and to close it, you just twist it like that. It's literally genius, like it's amazing. But it leaks everywhere, and I always make sure to keep it really tightly closed. Like I make sure I'm closing this ish before I set it down on the window in my bathroom. Like I definitely make sure, and then the next day when I go take a shower again, it leaks all over my window. So there's like product all over the bottom, and uh, that's expensive to be leaking. You know what I mean? It's a mess. It really is a mess, and that makes me so sad because I really do love you, Drunk Elephant. I, I just don't love you. Okay, so next up we have a drugstore product that I don't understand. These are the new little eyeshadows. They're like little eyeshadow quads, but they're kind of like in the same color family. So they just look like big giant eyeshadows, but they are different colors. And these are from Almay. I have Unapologetic, which is this one. And then I have Thrill Seeker. And when I saw these inside of Walgreens or I forgot where I was. I was like, oh my gosh, those colors look absolutely beautiful. Like, look at this beautiful terracotta and these blues are incredible. And then I got home and I swatched them and I was like, what? Listen, listen, I know that you can totally make these work with a little bit of Fix Plus. I mean, you can make any eyeshadow work with Fix Plus, but these mattes are not pigmented enough and these glittery shades are literally just shimmer. Like, there's no base to them. These are not good. I'm sorry, they are not good. And there are so many drugstore eyeshadows that are worth it and that actually work and perform well. These are not one of them. Milani eyeshadows, amazing. Wet and Wild eyeshadows, amazing. These, not so much. And yeah, they're like seven bucks, so they don't break the bank or anything, but for seven dollars, you can get better eyeshadows at the drugstore. I don't know if I just got two crappy ones because when I was reading reviews on Ulta, like after I tried these on my eyes, I was like, wait a minute, this must have one star on Ulta. So when I went to check the reviews, some people really, really liked them and I don't know if I just got two really crappy ones. I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you've tried other colors that actually work because I just don't, I just don't get these. Another product I very much disliked, I, these videos always get me so pumped and angry, but this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a compact, more like cakey grease in a compact. It says it's for all skin types, but I feel like those of you with oily skin might not like this. It kind of has a very greasy, oily consistency, like when you put your brush in or your sponge. It's very, very emollient, which I would normally really, really like, because I'm all about the dew, I'm all about the glow, but when I applied this to my face and I blend it out, it looked like foundation. It looked like I had something sitting on my skin. It didn't look good around my nose or in between my brows, which are my trouble areas. It looked pretty cakey. I just didn't like how this looked on my skin. I have so many other like BB creams or foundations, other things I like way, way more than this. Just, it looked like a mess on my face, like a hot mess. No, my cup of tea. Another thing that really was not my cup of tea that I was so freaking disappointed. I was like really disappointed with this guy. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude Palette. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, amazing. A highlighting palette from the drugstore. Yes, so we get this sucks. This is the most powderiest, like dusty, crumbly highlight palette in the world. Like, especially this shade right here. Even when you're swatching it, 
you're like, what is this crumbly, dusty mess? And then, and then like, what the heck is that? There's, it's horrible. <laughs> These are so dry. I would love to know who is on the L'Oreal team that approved this because I don't want to sound mean. I don't want to, I'm not trying to sound shady, but I can't picture a company coming up with this, swatching it, using it on their face and thinking like, yeah, this is amazing because it's not. Like if I worked at L'Oreal and we were having a discussion on this product, it'd be like, <clears throat> excuse me. This is garbage. It just, I don't know. Did I get a bad one? Did I get a really dry one? I just don't understand. Have any of you tried this palette? It doesn't give you a sheen to the skin. It doesn't highlight your face. Lumi Glow Nude Highlighting Palette? What is this gonna highlight? And I know that that's harsh, but for L'Oreal prices, you better be giving me a delicious sheen, okay? Because I have brands like this. This Milani highlighting palette that's freaking amazing, buttery, smooth, a beautiful sheen. And it is cheaper than this dust crust. You know what I mean? Like. What? All right, moving on. That one got me a little riled up. But uh, my next disappointing product, it really just disappoints me because of the formula because I freaking love this color. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Hawkwind. I love the name of this, by the way, because it reminds me of Hawkins, like Stranger Things. <gasps> I should name a nail polish Hawkins. Leave me a comment down below what, what color you picture a Hawkins being. <laughs> anyway. So this is Hawkwind, and I have a love-hate relationship with some of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks because I think they're amazing and the formula is great. They last all day on the lips and I don't find them to be drying, but some of them have a very streaky formula and this is definitely one of them. I don't know if it's just on me, but every time I apply this, I have to apply like four layers of this in order to get an even application throughout my entire lips. Like in order for me to avoid streakiness or patchiness, I have to apply it a couple times, which I don't really like. It kind of turns me off a little bit and I don't reach for this color anymore because of that. So that bums me out because the color is really, really pretty, but I don't like how streaky it is. I'm sorry, Kat. I love you, but... I don't love this color. Okay, so I have two liquidy luminizer type of things that I did not like, that did not work for me, and I dislike them both for completely different reasons. The first one being the ColourPop Crystal Liquid Highlighter in Amber. I'm not sure if this was limited edition. I don't know if this is still available, but when I first got this in the mail, I was like, oh, beautiful, oh my gosh, because this color looks amazing. You know what it reminds me of? I have like a real obsession with the NARS Hot Sand Illuminator. Not the powder highlight, because that one is a little bit pinkier, but the Hot Sand in the liquid version, which I think was also limited edition. That one looks so beautiful. It kind of has like this color to it, and I love that one. So I thought this would be kind of like a dupe. It's a little bit more ambery than that one, but the color is just absolutely gorgeous. But I don't like this formula. Like at first when you apply it and you start to blend it out, you're like, oh, how pretty. But once you blend it in, that really pretty sheen kind of goes away and you're left with this like weird, oily, not very sheeny type of glow. I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't look glowy on the skin. And when I first used it, I was like, oh, you know what? This might be perfect for my body to give me like a nice golden glow. But even then I'll blend it in. I'll put it on my shoulders and it looks okay, but it just feels very greasy. And I don't really see a glow. Like there isn't a sheen. There's no like reflectiveness to this. It's just kind of like a goldeny orange greasy color oh my gosh i don't know how to explain it i just really don't like this color or the formula i don't know if it's both combined that i don't really like but i just don't like how this looks on my skin and ever since i tried it like two or three times i was like you know what i don't like this but this i don't like because of the glitter this is the cover effects glitter drops and i mean they're glitter drops so obviously, and I definitely think there are a hundred ways you can use this. This would probably be really cool in a photo shoot, but for me, like for the average consumer, I will never ever use this. I don't like this. It is straight up oil and glitter. Like that's all you get folks, oil and glitter. And it looks really, really cool. Don't get me wrong. It's so cool. Like maybe on your body, you know what? I haven't tried this on my body. Maybe like on a night out on the town, this would look awesome on the body. I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking try that. That just sounded like a brilliant idea to me. When I tried putting this on my face, I mean, I don't even know what I was thinking, but I tried to highlight with this. <laughs> I look like Edward Cullen's sister, whatever her name is. I do not like how this looks on my face. It kind of emphasizes just a lot and it looks glittery and weird and it just looks extremely unnatural. And you guys know how I feel about my highlights looking cray cray. I, it's not, it's not my favorite. Let me know if you've tried this. Have you tried these on your body? Maybe these are, maybe are these for the body? Am I dogging this product without doing any research? 
I don't know, for me, it's just pure oil and glitter, and if you're into that, then maybe you will really, really like these. I mean, they are beautiful to look at, but so far, it has disappointed me for my face, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, something that is god-awful. I think out of everything in today's video, this is what has disappointed me the most. It wasn't even like a disappointment. It was more like a shock, I gotta say. These are the Burt's Bees Micellar Cleansing Towelettes. Okay, you guys know I love these simple micellar cleansing towelettes. They're my favorite wipes at the drugstore. So when I saw that Burt's Bees came out with micellar towelettes, I was like, yes. And these have white cypress oil. Now, I don't know what white cypress oil smells like. I really don't know. But these are the worst smelling makeup remover wipes I have ever used in my life. They smell so bad that I cannot even use them. I cannot put these on my face. I have honestly just been using them to wipe away swatches. Like if I'm, you know, swatching things for you guys, I'll use these to remove them. And even just taking them out of this thing, like, they smell like dirty feet. Straight up dirty feet. Again, if I were on the Burt's Bees team and we were having a conference about these, I'd be like, these stink. But I don't know, what if I just got a really bad batch? Have you guys tried these? They're the micellar cleansing towelettes and they smell like feet. Leave me a comment down below if you agree or disagree because maybe it's just mine. Okay, we're almost done, just two more products. This one wasn't disappointing as much as it was like pointless for me. Like I, it does nothing for me. This is the Benefit Professional but this is the Pearl Primer. This is supposed to be like a radiant version of their professional. This is great for filling in the pores, just like the original professional, but it does nothing for me in terms of luminosity. I think all they really did was get their original professional and add a little bit of a pearl to it, like a little bit of a sheen to it. But honestly, it's not that different. You know, it's not a noticeable difference on my skin. Like if I put this on one side of my face and I put the original professional on this side, the difference is so minimal that I don't think it's worth getting this one. You know, it honestly does, does nothing for me. I don't know, it's not my favorite. It also smells pretty strong. Like it has a very strong floral scent. Okay, so the last disappointing product I wanna talk about today is something from the Ulta brand. This is the Ulta Beauty Illuminating Setting Spray. I was so excited to get this. I haven't really tried out that many products from the Ulta brand, but it is very affordable and I do wanna look into more products from Ulta. It says, Illuminating Makeup Setting Spray maximizes the longevity of makeup and it is infused with micro pearls for a soft highlighted finish. Okay, that sounds fabulous, does it not? And you know what, sure, maybe it does give you a soft pearl highlighted effect, but the alcohol in this product is so strong that it completely throws me off of this, like it just throws me off. I've used this twice, and the two times that I've used it, my face felt so incredibly tight, I can't even explain it. Like, I know the Milani Make It Last setting spray has alcohol in it, it's literally like, the, well, it's the second ingredient. Oh, so is this? This is water and then the second ingredient is alcohol dena. And then this is water and the second ingredient is alcohol dena, whatever that is. Yet this makes my skin feel amazing. It makes my makeup last all day, which is the alcohol I know setting sprays that are meant to prolong your makeup have alcohol in them. But this makes my skin look awesome. It doesn't feel tight. It honestly looks amazing when I use this. This shiz. My skin feels so tight and the two times that I used it, I really thought that I was gonna break out from it because I was just like, what is this tight feeling? I did not like it at all. I even smell the alcohol so much more than the Milani one. Like, it is very, very strong. Even though the spray is really nice on it, like, it's a nice, fine mist, I do not like the formula or whatever the heck is in that bottle. It doesn't work for my dry skin. Okay, guys, so that completes this video. These were a few things that have recently disappointed me for one reason or another. Did you hear my stomach? I'm so hungry. I'm gonna go eat right now. <laughs> but anyway, leave me a comment down below letting me know what product recently bummed you out. Like, what product has recently disappointed you? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what you're disliking at the moment. But anyway, that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. L'Oreal, you too expensive for this mess. I, it is, it, it. If